Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another sound design tutorial. And today we are making this intro pad kind of sound Flume is using in this track Holding On. I'm going to play it for you. So as you can see, um, there are two instances of Massive playing. Um, the second one is just a simple uh, saw wave with low pass 4, cut off something around here. And really basic, this LFO isn't playing at all and no modulation on. So um, we're going to focus on this sound here, which is more a kind of plucky sound and I'm going to solo it for you. Okay, those are the midis. Um, by the way, if you want to learn more about music theory, we made a course about harmony and chord progression. So check out the link in the description. So first we are going to take the sine to square wavetable and move the position all the way up and the amp to about uh, 2 o'clock and we are routing this to filter 2. Then we are taking the acid wavetable, wavetable to position to about 2 o'clock, uh, intensity as well and uh, amp around here and we are routing this to filter 1. And then on the last oscillator we are taking the in harmonic and wavetable position around here, intensity around 3 o'clock and the amp around 12 o'clock and we are rousing this to filter 2 as well. And we are um, choosing the band minus plus here. Now this sounds like this. So what we have to do now is uh, picking a low pass filter for both uh, filters. Make sure that uh, it's on parallel mode here. Okay, so the next thing is we are going to have a look at the uh, envelope number 4 which is controlling uh, the amp of the synthesizer. And what we are going to do is we are just taking down the sustain a bit and moving the attack a little bit up. Okay, then let's move to envelope number three, um, which we will route to the two filters and set the range to from nine to 12 o'clock on the first one and up to 11 o'clock on the second one. What we are going to do is increase the attack time um, increase the decay time and the, the sustain all the way down. So this is kind of um, a plucky envelope shape. So let's have a listen. What we can do now is we are opening the cutoff on filter 2 a little bit. Okay, then um, what we are going to do is taking the envelope 2 and routing it to the first and the third oscillator. And we are moving the pitch up to about 28. So every time a signal is coming in, it will pitch up and fall down again. So we can, we can make it more obviously. So this is what an envelope do. You can really hear it. It starts from zero, then it goes up, up to the point you, you set here. 
and then it stays for the amount of decay you choose and then it falls, falls down again. I'm going to activate those oscillators and putting this to 0.28 again. So let's have a listen. So pretty nice. And we are also using the first uh, envelope and we are routing it to filter 2 and we are pitching it up to about 35 and we are taking a shorter attack What we are doing now is taking the LFO and routing it to all three oscillators and moving it up to about uh, 20. And we are taking the sine wave shape and amp all the way up and right to about here. So let's have a listen. So it gives it um, even more movement in the sound and makes it more interesting. Um, what we can do now is adding some chorus effect and we taking a small reverb. We already have a um, longer reverb on the channel and um, it's about 1.5 seconds and dry wet to about 30%. So we are increasing the dry wet size down and some low shelf uh, on the EQ and what we could do as well is modulate the first oscillator with the phase modulation. Um, I'm going to play it and play around with the phase knob here. So this preset uh, is also available, um, check out the new massive pack we made called Future Beat. Go to productionmusiclive.com uh, presets massive Future Beat and as you can see we have um, two cutoffs here, uh, the LFO amp, um, just routing it to the amp and here you can add some chorus effect, how we did, some reverb, how we did before, and some face modulation, and this is the attack of the fourth envelope. So, um, by the way, this is the template we just made, and check out the link in the description as well. Hope you liked this tutorial, subscribe to our channel, visit us on productmusiclife.com, and hope to see you next time. Bye.